Jacob Ezel, a grain and cattle farmer in Madison Parish, is our next Achievement Award finalist. Managing this 2,000 acre operation takes a lot of work, but at the end of the day, it's his deep-seated passion for agriculture that fuels the success of this fifth generation farm. On a steamy June morning, Jacob Ezel is walking the White Mile. It's the first of many he'll walk this season as they roll out this polypipe irrigation on his family farm in Madison Parish. We usually put out 60 to 70 rolls a year. To do the math, each roll is a quarter mile long, so that equates to about 17 miles of polypipe. There's roughly 2,000 steps in a mile. Between placing pipe and punching holes, Ezel will clock at least 68,000 steps before this job is done. It's a hot and tedious task, but Ezel says irrigation is a crucial step in the success of this crop. Polypipe is what allows us to have a crop on a dry, hot year. Used to use uh, galvanized pipe, 30 foot joints at a time, put them together, or PVC. Had gates on it, you had to individually turn the gates on. Polypipe made it a whole lot simpler, easier. Oh, it is monotonous and hot but it's a lot better than it used to be, and a lot more economical. Economics drive every decision on this 2,000 acre farm. That's why Ezel says he and his family are constantly searching for new ways to improve efficiency and productivity on their operation. We're most, mostly irrigated now. Oh, that's changed in the last two, three years. We used to farm like it was 1970, up until about five, six years ago. We went from eight row to 12 row. That sped up our operation. Don't have to have much labor. We've got GPS where we used to have road markers. We're taking advantage of newer technologies for fertilized, variable rate, pulling soil samples, things like that. Where we used to, we would just put it out there and hope for the best. But now, we're taking a little more time, more money, and it pays off in the end. But progress doesn't stop at the turn row. He's also working in the pasture to grow a better herd of beef cattle. We're not running so much of a commercial cow as to a more purebred, F1 calves. So we are thinking more toward a consumer basis versus sale barn. Trying to get geared up to maybe sell fed out beef. A more day to day people like us, they want local fresh stuff. I think they just now understand them that our beef don't come from Walmart or somewhere like that. And they're getting more interested in where it comes from. And I hope it continues to be like that. From cattle and corn to cotton and soybeans, Ezel says family remains the core crop of this fifth generation farm. We all work together, help each other out. We all separate, but we help each other when we need to. It is not easy working with your family. If anybody says it is, they ain't never done it. We all have different ideas. We're all stubborn, but we all, at the end of, end of the day, we all have the same desire and hope and that is to keep this going and to help each other and to be successful at it. While the road to success can often seem long and tiresome, Ezel says the journey is worth every step. To farm, you have to be called to do it. That's something that you don't wake up one morning and decide, I think I'm gonna go try this. It don't work like that. It's something in your heart that pulls you to it. I was born in it. There's nothing else I'd rather do. I went to tech, but while I was going to school, I knew that this was what I wanted to do. Tooth and nail, I'm gonna fight it to the bitter end. This is what I'm gonna do.